manage inventory organization child inventory org so basically in this you define your child inventory organization which is the inventory organization under which one transact so the master one is a placeholder for all your items whereas the child inventory org is the place where you transact the items such as uh, requisitions purchase orders uh, or maybe rfqs or uh, sales orders uh, unassociated uh, shipments and so on okay so let's go and define a child inventory org so here i am in fusion cloud before we proceed ahead let's have a look at the release and version so we are on release uh, 13 with a version of 23d i'm going to close this and then you have to click on manage inventory organizations to define the child inventory orgs and click on the plus icon to define a new one and first we'll define the auckland inventory org and then we'll define the wellington inventory org so type orange auckland inventory org okay and here you have to give a unique name so o r a k l okay and then choose the management uh, business unit or a chocolate business unit choose the legal entity okay and then choose the location it's going to be this one okay and then you hit the next button and here you choose the item master arc or an inventory master choose item grouping behavior and schedule okay and that's about it i think you don't have to do anything else at the moment you simply go ahead and save it okay so that has saved and on the same lines will define the other inventory or which is wellington inventory or so here i'm going to type orange wellington inventory arc or wlg okay then management business unit then keep the legal entity and i don't think there will be anything here yeah and i think all these are fine you just hit the next button so one thing that you would have seen here was the location for wellington uh, master business so here i'm going to choose uh, orange inventory master item grouping behavior definition arc schedule orange default facility schedule so let's go back and this is what i want to show you and if at all there is anything else then we can look at it starting with wlg so you have wlg main warehouse that is a location actually that we should be giving and then hit the next again make sure everything is covered okay and then you hit the save and close button so this is how you define your inventory organizations in a business unit within a lecture and legal entity attached